I'm Doug Lee, Maurice Bill Landis. Nick Bosa went out very early in the third quarter. Ohio State's best player. Looked like maybe a groin injury. Nobody has said he was limping after the game. Ryan Day, the acting head coach, said no update on his status. But how did you think Ohio State survived without Nick Bosa the rest of this game? Yeah, I think I think ESPN might have said it was an abdominal injury, um, but we don't we don't know what it is yet. Uh, I was actually really impressed with what happened when he went out of the game because I think that's the kind of injury. And I meant to ask BB Landers this, and I forgot. Just sort of like they always talk about getting a sense from the opposing offensive line whether they're tired, whether they're feeling it. I wanted to ask him like, well, what did you sense when Nick went out of the game? Because that feels like it would be an obvious jolt for the team that doesn't have to block him anymore. But that didn't seem to happen. I think Ohio State regrouped really well with Nick out of the game. Draymond Jones stepped up. Um, Jonathan Cooper and, and Chase Young and, and Jay Sean Cornell had to play at end, and like I didn't, I didn't think that, they obviously lose something without Nick, but I didn't think it was so obvious that he wasn't out there, which is a testament to the talent and depth they've they've accumulated on the defensive line. So like moving forward, if they have to play without him, it's obviously an issue. But tonight they did a really good job of sort of regrouping when they lost him. I did think I thought I could notice that, you know, there weren't guys in the backfield as quickly he's so quick off the ball I would say my evalu evaluation wasn't like oh Chase Young and Jonathan Cooper were just as good as Nick Bosa they're very good I think Nick Bosa is still significantly better right now but Draymond Jones a tackle made plays Malik Harrison had an interception at the end I thought the corners like I thought the rest of the defense had enough playmakers that you don't have to be as good at end because they found other guys who did some things. So I, I thought that was like a collective descent defensive effort of, and I made this point, the last time we saw Nick Bosa leave in the middle of a game, they lost by 30. He got ejected against Iowa when it was close, and they fell apart. Now, they didn't fall apart because of Nick Bosa, but they coincidentally fell apart at the same time. So, you know, that was on the table. And it didn't happen. So I thought that was a good sign for a defense. We know how good Nick Bosa is. I think it gave us a little more of a sense of how good the rest of this defense is. Yeah, the, the one thing that did happen, as you talk about guys maybe not being in the backfield all that much, like TCU took some shots in this game, but Sean Robinson, their quarterback, like never had time. He was throwing off his back foot and just kind of hoping that they would land, and they weren't until Nick was out of the game, and then Sean Robinson had time, and he threw a 51-yard touchdown pass. And I think Nick Bosa being out of the game had a huge hand in them connecting on that play. He's Bill Anderson. I'm Doug Lamarius. We have a lot coming at uh, Cleveland. Com. And as soon as we know more on Nick Bosa, you will find out about it here at Cleveland.com. We just we just don't know right now. I mean, he wasn't writhing in pain, but you know, you get in your uh, you get in here a little bit, not here so much, and not here, but right in here, you never know what's going to happen. All right, see ya.